and we pretty much worked on it non-stop. We had a team working on the Beacon, the 150. So the first step to this was just taking it all apart, cleaning it. So that was a long job. We had to clean <laughs> it looks all great. the gas, uh, the glass. We had to clean up, you know, the metal, take everything apart, clean up threads. Um, we had to repair wiring inside it. Um, you know, there were some, some of these clasps were bent, so we had to very gently either fix them or just get replacements because they're so old and fragile. Um, and we, first job was uh, getting like the motor running. So we cleaned that up, we took it all apart, cleaned it, put it back together, and got that running. And then um, we tried to, you know, put it back in with everything else. And there were a few setbacks. We broke a couple pieces that <laughs> should not have been broken. <laughs> but, perfect. Exactly. But we figured out a way to fix it using modern means, especially with the help of Mr. Greenberg. Um, <laughs> and so we got everything in the bucket here uh, wrapped up, and we wired it. That's where the motor is? Yep. And I did blow a circuit in Mr. Greenberger's room <laughs> when I first wired it. But uh, after we fixed that, uh, it was running. And then the next step was we kind of went bottom to top. So we kind of wrapped up this. And then we had to work on the light housing, which after we got it painted, all of these screw holes here, we had to tap all of them out. Um, I think I counted, there was like a hundred some. <laughs> and I spent like two or three days just doing that. <laughs> and then we test fit the middle part here and we built, um, there's a new LED bulb in there. Oh. It's not the original. Um, so I believe that's a thousand lumens. Yep. Um, initially the plan was to put two of those bulbs in there, but we couldn't fit them. <laughs> so there's only one a thousand lumen bulb in there. Um, and we built a little uh, stand for it so it would be in the middle and not, you know, sitting down here. And then the last step was really putting the two sides together here um, with the glass very gently and um, putting the access door here on. And after that, it was pretty wrapped up. We got it running and very bright. Mm -hmm. You guys want to see it? We would sure. love to see it, yes. <coughs> All right, let me get it out of the way here. Protect your eyes. It's, it's good. It's very bright. Oh, I'm sure it is. It's yeah, bright. it's meant to be seen for miles. So. Try not to look at it. It's fine. It's does fine. it rotate as well? It does. Yeah. It works perfect. All right. Watch your eyes, everybody. Steve, watch your head. Now you can see what it switches. Oh. Isn't that great? It's all right. Look at the... Jim would be very happy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And we got, we got two new lenses in there, that blue and there's a white one on this side that I believe we got from another beacon that was the same type as this. And Sometimes you got a camera. <laughs> <laughs> and so we got two new one of those and they were $3,000 each, but we got them donated. So that was a win for us. Awesome. Very nice. Beautiful work. So thanks to you guys. Well, congratulations well, to your instructor, Mr. Greenberg, and you guys for your perseverance and dedication to this. This plaque, this is um, the original beacon installed circa 1968 at Sullivan County International Airport near White Lake, New York. So this is for you. Thank, thank you, you so, thank much. You. Thank thank you. so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you.